Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I on this Thursday morning. So let us begin our day with the word of the Lord. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 16. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the god the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall uh, shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope for you will not abandon me to the grave nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is holiness of joy and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, uphold those who hope in you and give us your counsel so that we may know the joy of your resurrection and share the pleasures of your saints at your right hand, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, let's see what's going on in David's house today. Second Samuel, 19th chapter, beginning with verse 1. It was told, Joab, behold, the king is weeping and mourning for Absalom. So the victory that day was turned into mourning for all the people, for the people heard that day. The king is grieving for his son, and the people stole into the city that day as people steal in who, and, who, and who are ashamed when they flee in battle. The king covered his face, and the king cried with a loud voice, O oh, my son Absalom, O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. Then Joab came into the house of the king and said, You have today covered with shame the faces of all your servants, who have this day saved your life and the lives of your servant, your sons and your daughters and the lives of your wives and your concubines because you love those who hate you and hate those who love you. For you have made it clear today that co commanders and servants are nothing to you. For today I perceive that if Absalom were alive and all of us were dead today, then you would be pleased. Now therefore arise, go out and speak kindly to your servants. For I swear by the Lord... If you do not go, not, not a man will stay with you this night, and this will be worse for you than of all the evil that has come upon you from your youth until today. Then the king arose and took his seat at the, in the gate, and the people were all told, Behold, the king is sitting in the gate, and all the people came before the king. Now Israel had fled every man to his own house, and all the people were a strife there out, uh, throughout all the tribes of Israel, saying, The king delivered us from the hand of our enemies and saved us from the hand of the Philistines. And now he has fled out of the land of Absalom. But Absalom, whom we anointed over us, is dead in battle. Now, therefore, why do you say nothing about bringing the king back? And King David sent his messenger to Zadok and to Abathar the priests, Say to the elders of Judah, why should you be the last to bring the king back to his house when the word of all Israel has come to the king? You are my kinsman, you are my bone and my flesh. Why then shall, 
should you be the last to bring back the king and say to uh, Amas, Amasa, uh, uh, Amas, Amas, Amasa, you, uh, are you not my bone and my flesh? God do so to me and more also if you are not commander of my army henceforth in place of Joab. And he swayed the heart of all the men of uh, Judah as one man so that they sent word to the king, return both of you and all your servants. So the king came back to the Jordan and Judah came to Gilga to meet the king and bring the king over the Jordan. And Shemeth, Shimea, son of Gera, the Benjaminite from Bahurim, made haste to come down with the man of Judah to meet King David. And with him were a thousand men from Benjamin. And Ziba, the servant of the house of Saul, with his 15 sons and his 20 servants, rushed down to the Jordan before the king. And they crossed the ford to bring over the king's household and to do his pleasure. And Shimea, Shimea, the son of Gera, fell down before the king as he was about to cross the Jordan and said to the king, Let not my lord hold me guilty or remember how your servant did wrong on the day my lord the king left Jerusalem. Let not the king bear it in mind, for your servant knows that I have sinned. Therefore, behold, I have come this day, the first of all the house of Joseph, to come down to meet my lord the king. Abshah, the son of Zeruiah, answered, Shall not Shimea be put to death for this? Because he cursed the Lord's anointed. But David said, What have I to do with you, you son of Zeruiah, that you should this day be, a, be as an advisory to me? Shall anyone uh, be put to death in Israel this day? For do I not know that I am this day king over Israel? And the king said to Shimea, you shall not die. And the king gave him his oath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from Acts, the 24th chapter, beginning with verse 1. And after five days, the high priest, uh, the high priest Ananias um, came down with some elders and the spokesman, one Tertullius. They laid before the governor their case before Paul. And when he was called... Tertullius began to accuse him, saying, Since through you we enjoy much peace, and since by your provision, most excellent Felix, reforms are introduced on behalf of this nation. In every way and everywhere we accept this with all gratitude, but to death but to detain but to detain you no further, I beg you to your kindness to hear us briefly, for we have found this man a pestilent uh, fellow. An, ag- an agitator among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader in the sect of the Nazarenes. He, uh, he even tried to profane the temple, but we seized him. By examining him yourself, you will be able to learn from him about everything of which we accuse him. The Jews also joined in the charge, affirming that all this was so. And when the governor had motioned to him to speak, Paul replied, Realizing that for many years you have been judge over this nation, I cheerfully make my defense. As you may ascertain, it is not more than twelve days since I went up to worship at Jerusalem, and they did not find me disputing with anyone or stirring up a crowd, either in the temple or in the synagogues or in the city. Neither can they prove to you that what what they now bring uh, up against me. But this I admit to you, that according to the way which they call a sect. I worship the God of our fathers, believing everything laid down by the law or written in the prophets, having a hope in God, which these themselves accept, that there, uh, that there will be a resurrection of both the just and the unjust. So I always take pains to have a clear conscience toward God and toward men. Now, after some years, I came to bring to my nation alms of off- and offerings. As I was doing this, they found me purif- uh, purified in the temple, without any crowd or tumult. But some Jews from Asia, though ought to be here before you and make an accusation, if they have anything against me. Or else, that let these men themselves say what wrongdoing they found when I stood before the council, except this one thing, which I cried out while standing among them. With respect to the resurrection of the dead, I am on trial before you this day. 
But Felix, having a rather accurate knowledge of the way, put them off, saying, When Lysias, the tribune, comes down, I will decide your case. Then he gave orders to the centurion that he should be kept in custody, but should have some liberty, and that none of his friends should be prevented from attending to his needs. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O Almighty, everlasting God of truth, I confess and I am deeply sorry that I am sinful and have so often sinned against thee. I implore thee to forgive me all my sins. Be gracious unto me, and justify me for thy beloved Son's sake whom thou didst decree to be our Redeemer. With the Holy Spirit, purify my heart and guide my soul that I may truly know, love, and serve thee. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so very much for joining Tom and I on this Thursday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day, and I hope you'll join us tomorrow morning too. God bless you. Bye-bye.